atheist, but being an atheist is punishable by death in 13 countries, all of them Islam. The, the gap between the activism that exists and the need and the amount of oppression, the discrimination, the torture, the killing and the murder, the gap makes this the civil rights movement of our time that is being ignored. There is no other group of people that are being so consistently silenced and oppressed while having the least rea global reaction to it. This is the fact that not even atheists are responding to this crisis is shameful and this is something that we're going to look back on. This is something that religious people could point to and say like, look, this is why you need religion. Because religious people look after each other, right? Look, when they come after Muslims, we all shout, we all make a noise. But where are the atheists? Look, they, they don't do anything. And when we try to do something, when we try to get together, and make a difference. People are like, oh, you're turning like a religion. Other atheists come and say, like, oh, you're turning into a religion. As if getting to get, they're just, atheists are giving the monopoly over act activism and community to, to religious people. You don't even have to be an atheist to be here. You could be a Muslim, you could be a Christian, and you could think, like, you could think that it's not fair for atheists to be treated like this. You could be an atheist rights activist without being an atheist. So, yeah. We speak for Muslims when they are oppressed in China or in India. Where are the Muslims here? Where are the Christians? We speak for Christians when they are being oppressed in Egypt. Where are the Christians here? This is, we want, this is our first attempt at this, but we want this to grow. We want to keep, like, every, we want to be the voice that makes the loudest noise every time some a blasphemer is being targeted for their blasphemy. Because right now there is no response. When Malaysia came out and said that we are going to hunt down atheists, the global response to that was nothing compared to what would have happened if they had said we need to hunt down the Muslims, we need to hunt down the Christians, or we need to hunt down the Jews. Think about the global reaction to that. We need to be that voice that is not there. We need to make these protests bigger, and then we need to learn how to get journalists covering this every time we do this. And then when, when, when it is covered, we need to then go to politicians and be like, look, we're protesting, it's being covered, what the fuck are you doing about it? What is the United Kingdom doing about it? Why are they supporting a terrorist regime? Why are they, the, the countries that are supposed to be champions of human rights are making excuses for the greatest violators of human rights? Why, are, why is the United Kingdom, why is Canada not putting, push, putting more pressure? By the way, this is happening not just here in London. We're, this is happening right now, today, in, in Canada, in Australia, in Germany, in Sweden, in many other countries at the same time. If there's an Iranian embassy, it's happening in front of Iran's embassy. Um, we got new people on, on YouTube, can you tell them what's happening? Yeah, we're here in front of Iran's embassy in London, protesting the arrest and imprisonment and torture of Sohail Arabi. His crime, insulting Prophet Muhammad on Facebook. The response of Islamic theocracies to a Facebook post is torture and imprisonment, separating a father from his daughter and from his mother and from his wife for seven years for a Facebook post. How fucking weak your ideology has to be that you're threatened by a simple fa Facebook post. How fucking pathetic that you have to be that that is your response to a Facebook post. If, if, if Sohail Arabi committed the crime by, by, for insulting Islam, then Iran's government also committed the crime because they insulted Islam more by showing us what Islam stands for. Who insulted Islam more? The government that shows that the Islam's response to, to an opinion is torture? Or somebody that says something nasty about Prophet Muhammad?